Hey, if you love spending the night in the fish house, chances are over the course of a season, you're gonna run into burbot, eel pelt, ling, whatever you like to call them. They happen to be one of my favorite sport fish to catch. And in my opinion, I also think they're one of the most delicious fish to eat in fresh water. So I'm gonna share with you a simple one pan recipe to provide gourmet food in the fish house this winter. This is a really simple dish. It just requires a few fresh ingredients that I just pack in a cooler before we head out. We just need fresh parsley, lemon, garlic, some dry white wine. I've got a Sauvignon Blanc here, salt and pepper, a little Parmesan cheese for uh, finishing it off, butter, olive oil, of course the powder, the burbot, and then rigatoni noodles, or you could use penne pasta. That's it. So for the prep work, it's gonna be pretty simple here. I just want a little bit of parsley uh, that I want chopped up finely, and that's just gonna be to finish the dish. So I'll grab a, just a couple pieces here, and then I'm actually gonna throw big, big chunks of this into the, uh, into the cast iron as we're cooking. So good with that for now. So we're just gonna chop up a little parsley. A chef's knife would be better, but a fillet knife will certainly work in the fish house. Definitely the utility knife for a fisherman. Just coarsely chopped is, is, will be just fine. All right, so a little parsley there for finishing. Throw that in there. Now, we're just gonna take a little lemon. This is again for finishing. Slice this in half. Quarter wedges. Boom. Be good there. Set that off to the side. And then I just need a, a couple cloves of garlic here is all I really need. So let's pop a couple of these off like so, those look beautiful. Now all I'm gonna do with the garlic, I'm not gonna chop it at all, I'm just gonna press it, the palm of my hand, I'll crush it, open up some of the flavor of the garlic and then I can just peel back the, the uh, skin on this beauty. All right, there we go. There we go, this one's got a little grossness to it, we'll trim that off. And there we go, that's the prep work, so pretty, pretty easy. The next thing we get to do is Start on the burbot. So, what I've got here, we ate the tails last night, but what we've got here is these beautiful loins of the burbot. And I'm going to cut these into smaller chunks here. You can see that's a big, nice, thick piece of meat. And what I want to do is basically I'm going to cook them like a scallop. So, I'm going to cut them into an inch, inch and a half sections, and then it'll develop a nice crust once we get that into the cast iron. So, here we go. Burbot is one of, I just think it's a, such a versatile fish to cook with. It's a different texture than anything else you're typically eating from fresh water. They're really unique. Of course, they're a cod, and they um, just have absolutely great flavor and great texture. And the other thing you'll notice when we, when we cook these, you'll see they're very sweet. A lot of people will cook these in 7-Up or something like that, but at the same time, these fish, you'll see, shed a lot of sugar when you start cooking them. So they, um, they're pretty good just, just as is. All right, so our next step here is gonna make sure that these are nice and dried off. That's the secret to getting that crust. If the fish are wet at all, you won't get that, that crust. It won't, won't burn in the pan. So you wanna make sure these are nice and dry, and I'm gonna season them. I'm gonna season them first with fresh cracked pepper, and then right before I put them in the pan, I'll season them with fresh cracked sea salt, but I'm only gonna do one side right now. I'll wait to season the other side until I'm ready to flip in the pan. In the meantime, it's a good idea to get the pan heated up. I've got a nice cast iron skillet here. I'm gonna heat that to a medium, medium high heat. So I'm just gonna hit these beauties with a little bit of black pepper to start. Like I said, right before they go in the pan, we'll hit it with some salt. All right, now we're just gonna add a little olive oil to the pan, not a ton, just enough to Make sure it's well, well coated. Should mess with the hydraulics a little bit to even things out, but it's actually gonna be okay. So make sure that oil's heated up nice. And uh, we'll just test uh, a little chunk and make sure that you get a nice tss. Now the whole secret is you don't want it to be too hot where you burn the fish. You just want, want it hot enough where you can develop a crust. And you know, it'll only take a, about two or three minutes on each side.
You can smell that. It smells just like scallops. If you've ever cooked scallops at home, this is exactly what it smells like. Just gonna roll that oil around in there for a little bit. Cast iron so nice, it just holds heat extremely well. Just an awesome pan to have in the fish house. You can do pretty much everything with it. All right, so we're just gonna let this go, develop a nice crust here, and soon we'll be ready for the magic. Now I'm just gonna check these real quick, see if we're getting any crust developing on them. Just starting to get a nice crust on there, so we're actually just gonna go just another minute on those. Has a nice texture when you just let that uh, sear for just a little bit. All right, so those are those are good on the one side, nice crust. We're gonna do the same thing, salt, pepper this side. All right, that'll be great. Now we're just gonna give them a quick flip, and you can see that sugar making its way out of the out there too. Or a couple off to the edges aren't quite so golden, but that's okay. We'll replace place their position. Oh yeah, smells amazing. It smells just like cooking sea scallops. Okay, so we got those babies going. We're gonna sear those off a little bit. And I'm starting to get a little hot with the hands here, so I do have. Set of work gloves here. So we'll just let those babies go for just a minute. And then I'm gonna add, right now, the garlic. Just throw that in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna throw in a nice he healthy bunch of parsley here. Is that parsley? I'm just gonna throw that, throw that right in there. And then of course the secret to good cooking with everything is we're gonna add about a half a stick of butter to the pan here. And that's gonna develop some really nice flavors with those pan juices from the burbot and that garlic in there, the salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna have a basting spoon here. So this is uh, this is the secret to it. So we'll kind of let everything settle down here. You wanna get the garlic down towards the bottom. And we're gonna just start basting. Just kind of baste throughout until the fish is cooked through. This helps cook the fish as well, and this will make just an incredible pan sauce here. Parsley and garlic and the butter there. Ooh, delish. Okay, now once this is complete, I turned the oven on to 300 just a minute ago. I'm gonna shut the oven off. I'm just gonna pull this pout and I'm gonna set it on a plate, put it in the oven to warm while we prepare the rest of the sauce. We work on the sauce here. You can see that there's just a lot of nice caramelized little bits in the bottom of this pan. Just excellent looking stuff. Pull that. There we go. I'm just going to discard the rest of the cell or uh, parsley. Set these babies in here. It's a nice warm oven, and now let's let's do the sauce. So we're going to do the sauce here. Just going to put the pan back on here, and I'm just going to. I've got a. Sauvignon Blanc, an un Chardonnay, something like that will be good. Just a dry, dry white wine. We're gonna deglaze the pan here. And I did bring a nice, uh, nice whisk here to just whisk up all those bits. But you could use a fork, whatever you got in the fish house will be good. Let's see how delicious that looks. Keeping that garlic in there for now, just to Get a little more garlicky flavor with it. Cook. Now we're just gonna let this thicken up a little bit. Crank up the heat here, and I'm gonna add the pasta. So like I said, I just prepared this ahead of time at home, boiled it till dente, I added a little bit of olive oil, strained it well, and I can keep these for you know a few days in the fridge. And uh, they'll taste delicious because they're being introduced to this nice, nice hot pan. All right, looks great. I'm just gonna take a few noodles here into a paper bowl, because it's convenient, there we go. 
Up inside, I'm gonna grab the pout. Looking just delicious, smelling amazing. Add a few pieces of this on top here. The parsley. All right, nice delicious piece there. 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 All right. All right, some nice, beautiful burbot there. Now, just to cut through some of that fat, just gonna use a little bit of lemon here. This goes great with the fish. Balances everything out nicely. And then, the secret ingredient, some good parm. Let's grade that right over the top here. Oh, lastly, I like to finish everything with just a touch of finishing salt there. Then lastly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley for a nice freshness to it. And boom, look at that, voila. Fresh pout pasta that is absolutely amazing. It's delicious. Gourmet food in the fish house. Heck yeah. Cheers to Pout. <laughs> it should be good enough. <laughs> One more cheers to Pout. Hey, cheers to Pout.